Backed by the confidence of a world championship win, the prestige of a Tour de France title and the experience of owning countless world and grand tour stages, the team machine is well equipped to stare any brutal day of racing square in the face. And yet to win is not enough. Even the best must evolve to remain at the top step of the podium. Our mission is to innovate constantly to make the world's winningest bike even better. Now, it's your turn to evolve. You're ready to carry on the winning legacy of the team machine. Hi, I'm Danny Lovis, pro cyclist at BMC Racing Team since 10 years. As a pro cyclist, I spend really a lot of time on my bike and it's really my main work tool. This bike is really light, which is important for a hard climbing stage. It's also stiff, which is good for a sprint in the final of a stage. And it's compliant, which is important for a hard, long day on the bike like we have on the Grand Tour. After 10 years as a pro cyclist, I can feel that the position is really important and this geometry is really good. I can find my perfect position on this bike. It's uh, really aggressive, but I can take also really good downhills. Making a much better bike as this one, it's not going to be an easy task. We always got great feedback on the handling and ride quality of the current team machine, so we wanted to keep the things that are good the same. So for example, the geometry, we kept it quite similar to the current generation. Yeah, we saw a lot of opportunity actually in to uh, integrate more parts into the frame design, but also uh, make it even lighter and better handling and uh, responsive. Yeah, we definitely saw the uh, opportunity to give the riders the option to choose uh, brake technology, so either rim brake or disc brake. This technology gives us the opportunity to make tons of virtual prototypes in a very short time. So we're able to test the, uh, the carbon layout, the material, but also the frame shapes. And one of the main changes is also the integration of cables. So not only the disc brake cables, but also all the, the shifting cables are integrated. They are routed to the frame. The seat post clamp is fully integrated into the frame design. But also we were able to, uh, to make a disc brake frame at the weight target of our previous rim brake design. So we were really able to make one of the lightest disc brake frames on the market. We made our own custom true axle design here at the Impact Lab because we were not satisfied with the standard solutions. Uh, one other thing is that the rail hangers, they're really machined uh, up to the last bit of alloy left because we, uh, we really wanted the lightest solution for every single part on the, on the frame. So our design team really uh, gave this iconic bike a very clean and Swiss look. We think that one of the best bikes in the world also deserves a great design. So the first feedback of the team riders was, was amazing. Um, the, one of the, the things they said they, they felt first was the responsiveness. was even better than the current one, which is already one of the best in the world. For sure, one of the key persons was Greg van Avermaat. So uh, not only in training, but he also used the bike in, uh, in races like the Amstel Gold Race and uh, liege Bastogne liege uh, Next to him, we also had Richie Port and Nicholas Roach uh, do some extensive testing. 